Hey YouTube, welcome to Stove Mods, your hobo stove channel. This is the first hobo stove I ever designed. It's made out of a stove pipe that I bought for that purpose. And um, actually, I didn't make this myself, I just designed it and gave it to a blacksmith who welded this grid on and cut those openings out. And they built this really, really nice hatch that you can open, you even can remove it. So you can feed the fire with this once the pot is on this. So, um, um, obviously this is not for traveling because it's really huge and very heavy. It weighs about two kilograms and we're gonna test it soon. As fuel I only take what I found outside um, and I dried this for one week. I'm gonna do this for every test to have kind of the same fuel. So, let's get started. I'll put this in first. So, I have a highly efficient and waterproof fire starter. This is just some cloth. I don't even know if it's lace or cotton. Both of it works, I guess, as long as you don't use wool or um, synthetics. You should be good. So, you can just tear it off. I'll show you how it works. Of course, I'm going to show you how to make these in another video. So, and of course, after we have a fire, we're going to do a boiling test. So, that's our purpose today. this on top. This should work quite well. Okay, and put this on top. So, I figured out that it's usually better to close the hatch when, once you get the fire started to have a stronger stack effect, which means the air gets pulled up. Later, when you have too much fuel it's better to open it to have more ventilation. So I'll just have it open so you can see the fire. And we're also going to measure how much wood we need for the boiling test. So it's going to be 500 milliliters of water. Put some more wood on it. Then we're going to start the test. So you can see this takes really lots of wood without dying out because it gets lots of air. I made this to be able to put a pot on. We start the test. I don't know if you can see it, but after 90 seconds, it's already starting to work. So, it's really gonna be a quick one. We're at 3 minutes and 15 seconds, and this is really starting to boil. So, I put a little more wood into the hatch. We're gonna see how much firewood it took, but I'd say three and a half minutes now we're there would be okay for cooking coffee let's watch this another few seconds okay definitely less than four minutes to have this boiling now we're at four minutes so as you can see, it works very efficient. I mean, it's not windy though today, or not very cold. I guess it's about 20 degrees outside. And I'll let it die, and then see you later. As you can see now, there's only ashes left. So one thing I don't like that much is that those ashes stay on the grid. I'll show you in a second. So, I can remove them, so it's not really a problem, but maybe one day 
because this channel is all about optimizing stoves I'll have this grid replaced by a better one that leaves more space open so the ashes won't stay there but fall down instead so the wood we needed today was 278 grams in order to get the water boiling so it's really not a lot so I hope you liked it that was my actually very first hobo stove video if you liked it uh, give me a thumbs up or comment subscribe to my channel and of course if you have any suggestions how to build a stove how to do experiments on this just let me know maybe I can do it for you that would be nice so see you next time bye